Traveling on into New Mexico, we'll be hunting the northeast corner of the state near Raton. This is the home of the Miriam's wild turkey subspecies. This rocky mountain state known as the land of enchantment will test the endurance of our hunting. Elevations to 10,000 feet make normal movement for the average flatlander a little more difficult. Let's join Dave Streb, Quaker Boy General Manager, and Scott Kirby, Dick's oldest, as they work their way out of a ridge in search of a gobbler. Oh, two gobbles. What a thrill. Did you hear them? Such a response is sure to get you charged up. There's no other sound like it in the wild. These gobblers are some 600 yards away, well below these two, and a move is necessary to get into better position. Try to be as quiet as possible when moving into a bird. Remember, they can hear four times better than you. Don't try to move too quickly into position on a gobbler. He may be coming toward you. The last thing you want is to bump him. After covering about half the distance to the original gobbles, Dave stops and calls. He wants to find out where the gobblers are. Wow, they haven't moved. Still some 200 yards away, Dave and Scott set up and get ready. Getting comfortable is very important. You never know how long your weight may be. You don't want to get caught making any movement once you're in place. Dave switches to one of his favorite old boss hands. on their way. They're coming. Look at the white cap. It seems this is always one of the first things you see on a gobbler. This old boy has a few girlfriends with him. Let's see how Dave handles this big fellow.
Oh no, that hen is spooked. Did you get him, Dave? Good shot. Don't let him get away. Okay, Dave, good going. This early morning hunt will be one neither of these two will soon forget. Dave takes time to fill out his license and properly tag his gobbler before anything else is done. Some may call it luck, but whatever you call it, it sure is fun. I'll tell you, those two ounce sixes, double X's will do a jab on a turkey's head. Look at that. I mean, I'm telling you. They don't have as big a beard back home. Well, you know, that's the one thing I've noticed about Miriam's, so they have a tendency to have that little bit like a shorter beard and almost pencil thin, not as heavy as like some of the Easterns and that. That's just, I'd say, a little less than the typical Miriam's. It's got a nice even fan, nice adult. Yes, right. Yeah, he's been strutting too, Scott. Yeah, he is, man. Oh, looks like a, probably, probably a half inch, three quarters. Yeah, probably a two-year-old, nice two-year-old gobbler. Let me feel I have him once. He might go 18. Yeah. He's a nice, pretty turkey. That was probably a full 35 yards. 35 steps. I'll tell you, I'm glad you told me to shoot because <laughs> I could see what was happening with that hen going. And, uh, yeah, she saw she saw me. I was trying to move the gun around and get on him. And when she started to go, feet, he started yeah. dropping out of strut. Yeah. And when he started dropping out of strut, I thought, uh-oh, we better do something quick. Yeah, I couldn't even see him when he shot him. Yeah. I thought I was just better. <laughs> well, I'm glad you told me to shoot. <laughs> yeah, he did kind of explode, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. It was a good hunt. Very good. I guess Dave has decided to take advantage of those younger legs and let Scott carry the gobbler back to camp. <laughs> 